My journey through writing my poetry book Bones was painful, but it led to a lot of growth. This book started because a friend encouraged me to write everything down after a painful breakup. It reminded me of when I was younger and I would write in my journal, something my mum encouraged me to do from a very young age. It was therapeutic and my writing just evolved from there. At first, I wasn't sure if I was prepared to share my intense writing with the world. But when I was, I knew I wanted to create the whole thing myself. When I was focusing what I would put on the cover, I immediately thought of vulnerability. Because that's what this book is for me. It's vulnerable and it's real. It's easy to hold grudges or show you don't care. But to me, there is strength and beauty in what is vulnerable. The image is black, white and grey to portray that it is quite a heavy and deep book. There's a lot of intense emotions in it. When I do something I'm passionate about, I put so much thought into perfecting it. Bones isn't perfect, but to me, it's imperfectly perfect. I thought about everything that held meaning to me to complete the book. I ensured the pages weren't white. Instead, I selected they be cream. They're cream because bones aren't actually white. The spine of my back is perfectly aligned with the spine of my book itself. The way I took the photo was sort of ingenious and hilarious. And it's because I not only wanted to write the book myself, but create its cover, take the photo myself, and be the subject, too. I can be quite determined that way. I placed a skateboard against the wall, a sunglasses case for extra length, with my phone resting on top. I had to do this because I connected my phone to my camera using Bluetooth, and I wanted the image to show my head was dug slightly toward my chest, with my hands reaching to my back. My back was facing the camera and I was hitting the shoot button using my elbows. My room was freezing, but by the time I had finally got the shot done, I was sweating. I told myself this was just a practice run. My nail polish was cracked and my hair wasn't done. It was in a messy bun and my hair was frizzy. Then when I was looking through the photos, I also thought to myself, this book isn't about being perfect or being ready. It's about finding yourself and finding your way after quite a heavy and painful loss. It's not about looking beautiful per se, but it was about finding that beauty of myself from within my vulnerability of that process and during that time. Some of the poems, when rereading them, I can picture exactly where I was when that happened. So this is why I also wanted to drop off my books at these milestone locations. Most aren't your typical landmarks, but they hold such weight to my story. I'm always intrigued by certain things that spark someone's memory. And this is where some of mine were from. Places are one of the most foundational things to recollecting our strongest memories. We reconstruct our episodic memory we piece our memory back together based on where we were. That's why I sometimes still tear up when I go back to read some of my poems. It doesn't mean I'm not over it. It's because it feels like I've rewound time and found myself back on that street where it happened. The other aspect of this is the obvious, emotion. You remember exactly how you felt and how you reacted. So not only is me leaving my book at these locations so important to my story, but it's also to spread my message broadly, in the hopes that it will land in the hands of someone who needs to hear it. I thought what I was going through was something that was so different. I had nothing else to relate it to, and I felt a little bit alone and stuck in my feelings. I also didn't really understand a lot of what I was feeling. So, I wanted to help someone who may be feeling the same, or a similar thing. The main point I want to share is that you are never alone. 
someone out there has felt that same feeling. Every relationship, every love and every pain is different. But in the end, the only constant is that we all need to grieve. Going through a loss doesn't make you any less lovable or any less special. This pain is not happening to you. It's happening for you. So learn from it and grow from it and just make sure you persevere.